Uh, if you know who Lisa, then you know she loves three things. Soccer, mm -hmm. wine, and a good kooky collection. Yep, yep, it's true. She joins us this morning with a large stash of Mexican folk art. Beautiful pieces, who? <laughs> oh my gosh, these are so amazing. And what's even cooler, you guys, is that the kooky collector used to be a history teacher. So I am learning oh, oh, right all kinds of cool stuff about all of these maps. Yeah, so take a look. Uh, this is just a little corner. Y'all ready? Take a look at this entire wall of maps. Is oh, that wow. not amazing? Wow. I know. And so, as I mentioned, he's a history teacher. Here's the kooky collector himself. This is Larry. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am doing fantastic. I'm telling you, you heard me just say, I'm so fascinated about how this kooky collection started and how it's grown. Let's tell them how this actually started. Well, I was a history teacher yeah. after I got out of college, um, taught world history, got yeah. really interested in uh, Mexican uh, Aztec culture, if you yeah. will. My then in-laws uh, came back from Mexico, brought a mask. I really got interesting and started collecting them, but I didn't realize at the time that I was collecting tourist masks yeah. rather than these uh, traditional dance masks. Anyhow, I went to uh, Tijuana to uh, buy some masks and I went in the shop with this old woman yeah. and uh, she told me I was buying the wrong things. Took, <laughs> took me to her back room and uh, sold me some masks. And then she gave me this, or she actually sold it to me, this book of the masks of Mexico, yeah. and it has every state and their traditions. And I have used this book to plan every trip. That, that is amazing. So through these masks, he's literally been able to tour all over Mexico. How many masks do you have, do you think, in your entire collection? About 160. Oh my goodness, so this is just a little snippet. Do you have a favorite here on this wall? I think this one over here. Yes, now tell, do you guys, look at that. Can you guys tell what that's made out of? This one right here with, with the big old nose and the teeth. <laughs> oh, is that a gourd? So that, <laughs> It's that's, a gourd, yes! It's, that's right. Cool. It's a, uh, a tree gourd, and the teeth are from cows, mm -hmm. and the hair around it are uh, horse tails, mm -hmm. or cow tails, mm -hmm. as depending upon where it's at. Anyhow, this is from Urapan in uh, the state of Michoacan. Which I just told them that is where my mom is from. Oh, my wow. family is still there. I'm like, I know Urapan, yes! So that is so awesome. Well, it's, it is, it's used to celebrate a kind of a Thanksgiving harvest uh -huh. festival oh. um, uh, sort of things. So that's one of my absolute favorite, and it was used, I've had a couple of uh, mask shows, yeah. and that was used on the poster to, uh, to, to advertise. So cool. So again, each one of these has a story, and he has traveled all over Mexico to go find these. So incredible. Like I said, this is just a little snippet. He's got more upstairs, and you know me, I'm nosy, so we're yeah. going up there in the next hour. I'll show you that. <laughs> Larry, thank you so much. I'll send it back over to you. Fantastic. Thanks, who? That is really neat. Ah.